Come we don't come to church to outdress each other. Oh, God. Come, come on. on. Go ahead, my chain next. We don't come to outspeak in tongues each other. Oh, God. And to competition against each other. Oh, who can pray longer than who can? Oh, and God don't hear not one thing you say. Because it would be better if you pray five minutes effectively than one hour and God in here one thing. He's coming and we don't hear the message anymore. Hallelujah. There's a call come ringing over the restless wave. Send the light. Send the light. Send the light. Send the light. There's a call come ringing over the restless wave. Send the light. Your souls to rescue. Church. Yes, sir. And one is in the temple. Mm. 
Larry, that's not living holy. Do not have them stay in the house. Jesus. And mess up the flow of my anointing. Come on now. Oh my God. Because I will not come down in anything that looks less than the anointing. So you better teach them how to repent. Put them outside of the camp. And some of you say, well, church is for all people. Church is for all people that want God. Amen. That want to give up their nasty ways. Yes, yes. That want to come clean yes. before God. Yes. And so what's happening now, Donna, we don't even have a fear and reverence that we're living in closing days. The time is now closing. We're living in the fourth watch of his coming. The Bible says that the night come when no man can work. Hello, somebody. Amen. And Pastor Rick, it made no sense that we paint this church nice. Ooh. And the heart of God people, they're black. Yes. It makes no yes. sense Jesus. that we have Sunday school women of God and PTA meetings and pastors' aid department and elders and deacons and this yes. and that and everybody going to hell. Yes. We now have to bring back the holiness of God. That will begin, Charlie, to bring a consciousness, Pastor Fitz, to the lifestyle of God's people. Yes. That they don't only live holy when they come to church, but that even in their own home by themselves, nobody can see them, that there is a holy lifestyle that is fostered by the grace of repentance. What do you do when nobody is Come around? On. And who are you when nobody is around? So you can fool everybody. Come on now. Come on now. And one of the craziest things, you are nuts to think you can even fool your own self. Where you tell yourself, well, God understands. How can the God who says without holiness no man, no, man. no man shall see God how can the God who declares righteousness exalts a nation but sin is a reproach acknowledge your wrong and say it's okay he will not go back on his word closing here not at all God does not understand sin. No, he doesn't. He does not live where sin lives. That's right. no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. The Bible says he pardons the sinner. Yes. Right. Sinner. sinner. Mm. But the wages of sin is yes. death. Yes. But the gift of God is eternal life. What is it? You can't even get rid of sin. No. Sin exists. Yes. Yes, sir. Sin is sin. But those of you that give up sin and take Jesus Christ is the one that God says, I will show my shit to you. But you got to give sin back to who? Sin belongs. And how can you give up sin if you don't resist the devil? The Lord didn't say fight the devil. You can't fight the devil that will resist. How can you anoint you? I don't fight devils. Come on here, somebody. You resist him and you cast him out. That's right. And we're closing with this because we don't understand. You will always believe that church is like this until you begin to see the exercising of demons. Don't start to speak. Yes. Blind eyes pop open. Yes, yes. Deaf ears hear. Yes. Come on here, somebody. Yes. Signs and wonder. Listen. If the potter's house was built because wall chairs are all over the stadium, mm. walking sticks and wheelchairs, mm. 
and the drug addict and the pimps and the prostitutes are now being transformed daily. Daily. This is the gospel that we must preach. Yes, sir. Peter preached a four minute message and 3,000 was added to the church. Are you telling me you're a bad preacher because you got 15,000 members and you don't even know how people live their lives? This is what's going on now in kingdom. The body of Christ has become deceived. And not only deceived, but they become deceiving. I watch any movement of God, we see a lot of people flocking to and there is no change. I've watched prophets in this house where by revival after revival, prophecy after prophecy. And the same people that spit, roll on the floor, pick up, and will cuss you out in a minute. We have done preaching now, so you all don't want to clap. Maybe the same people that were shouting will tell you off in heartbeat. And there's no glow on us for people to know the difference between the world and, mm -hmm. and the church. And then we're saying we're having church. And the text says, if you're in the camp and you are unholy, wash yourself. Purify yourself. Get out of the presence of God. Come again the right way. And then this time come. The Bible reminds me of Achan. When Achan carried the accursed thing in the body of Christ and hid it. Woman of God, the Bible says, and he hid it. If Joshua's ears was not connected to the mouth of God, Israel would have remained in a backslidden state that we would not be here today. Yes. But Joshua had to stop and hold breaks and say, God, what's going on? Yes. You all hearing me? Yes. And God says, now name every man, tribe by tribe. Search the camp. Look in Zion. And tell me what you see. And Achan say, yes, it's me. I hate the thing. In the camp. It's hid in the camp. Watch this. It's hid in the camp. In the camp. Mm -hmm. It's in the house, baby. Okay. Why church is not growing? Babylonian things are in the camp. Yes. Why are we going to preach like this today and next week Sunday we got to start it back up and pump you like a rusty bicycle to get you back to that place to be excited again. In the, camp. in the camp, baby. Yeah. Yes. And so now people are really not lovers of God, but they're lovers of preachers who preach about God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Because if you love God, whether or not your favorite preacher is here or singer is here, we won't have no problem with taking you to the next level of worship. And we, we have a praise and worship leader here, didn't we? That if it's not sounding the way she wanted to sound, we'll tear off her mantle and we'll sit down and fall right now. Oh, and I curse that spirit that is in this house. And as of this Sunday, as of this, I shut it down. Come on, God. Until she repents. Come on. Right. And if I am not here, come put on. Just sit down. So now we have a chain right there. That's come on. Right. Amen. Amen. Take off your robe, you pick up your bag, and you're gone out the door. Uh -huh. Worship is not about you. No. no. And come until on. the worship of worship, there can be no worship. Yes. Worship starts with the worshiper. Yes. Chris, call her and tell her. Go ahead. Sit your hips Go ahead. Sit your Go ahead. Until you repent. Go ahead, Lord God. Glory to God. Apologize. Behave 
yourself wise. Amen. No apology. We walk up church steps with the behavior. We were in church one Sunday in Canada. Lord of His mercy. And this worship be the behavior. She was all of that. And I look at her one day. I said, God will shut you down. Took her bag and put her back over her wig and going down the step and wicking herself as she twisted herself and until today she's crippled for to a week here. The Holy Ghost is real. Really? Really? And if you think they can box with God, you won't even pass wrong one, not of his mercy. One pop, not of his mercy. You're so peeny wally. Your hands are too short. Marco respect. No say. And there must be a holy hunger in the kingdom of God. There must be one that would say enough is enough. 